What's going on everybody? It's Juan Solo with A Squad Gaming and in today's video I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough on how to make a high quality YouTube video by just using the Upload Studio on the Xbox One. Um, this is kind of an alternative than going out and buying a couple hundred dollar capture card and some video editing software. Uh, you can basically make high quality videos using this system. But uh, anyway, let's jump right into it. We're going to go to the Upload Studio and open this app up and once you get in here you're gonna go to create a new video and once you get here this is basically the screen in the upload studio the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna scroll up to change type you're gonna to wanna to scroll to the left over to intro this will basically add an intro at the start of the video it'll help make the video look a little bit more you know professional next step you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to change effect and you're gonna pick one of these intros there's a quite a few different ones to pick from and I am gonna go with the one that I normally go with which is grunge then once you pick your intro you're gonna go down to add text and this is basically gonna be the text that pops up at the start of your video and I'm just gonna put in um, the YouTube channel name real quick and once you enter in the text this basically this um, clip is done and uh, also if you push X on your Xbox controller that will give you a brief clip preview up in the top right hand corner um, after this you're gonna wanna go down to the right plus sign at the bottom of the screen you're gonna click that then you're gonna go up to add clip this is where you put your first game clip um, in the video so once you get here you're gonna wanna scroll through and pick whatever game clip you want from all your game clips I'm actually gonna pick one of mine from my Black Ops 3 beta um, after this there's a cool little thing you can do on your uh, clips that if you go to change effect and you pick one of these it will have it so that your gamer tag and whatever text you type in will show up on each video slide um, by doing this though um, you have to do it to each individual uh, clip otherwise it'll only show up on the one that we're doing right now um, also if you go to trim this will be able to trim the clip so that it's as short and exactly where you want it to be. So in here, you're going to want to push the left thumbstick to the right to take time off the start of the clip. And you're going to want to push your right thumbstick to the left to take time off the end of the clip. And you just kind of slide these bars around until you get it kind of about where you want it so that the clip will be right exactly how you want it. After you're done doing that, you click A to accept. And at this point, if you wanted to add a text to pop up with your gamer tag up in the top right hand corner, as you can see here, this is where you would enter it in. And I'm just also going to put just the YouTube channel on here just for something simple. And at this point, this clip is done. And if you actually push X, it will show you a preview of your intro leading into your first clip. After this, you're going to want to go down to the right plus sign again. And then you're going to go all the way up to change type then scroll to the left to transition. This makes it so that instead of your clips going from clip to clip, there'll be a small transition in between. This also, like I said, helps make it look a little bit more professional. Um, you're gonna go in here and you're gonna basically pick whatever transition you want. There's a quite a few to choose from. I am gonna go with the next one here. It just kinda has like a little slide that kinda scrolls from clip to clip. And that is pretty much all you need to do in the transition. After this, you're going to go down to the right plus sign again. You're going to scroll up to add clip, and you're going to pick another clip to put in your video. Um, I'm actually going to go with my six kill Hellstorm missile here real quick. You're going to jump up to trim, and you're going to slide your thumbsticks around until you get it you know, exactly where you want it. And uh, after you get it right where you want it, you click accept. Then also, if you want that gamer tag and the chat thing or the text box to come up in the top right hand corner, you, de you do need to add it to every um, clip. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to pick this one and then I'm going to go down to add text and type in my text again real quick. And once we do this, this slide, or why do I keep saying slide? This clip is pretty much ready to go. So it'll show your transition in the preview. It'll show your transition into the clip, and it'll show the clip. After this, you're going to want to go back down to the plus sign. And in this step, you're basically going to either go to change type and go to transition, do a transition, and then add another game clip. 
but we're going to skip out of those and basically go to as if this was the end of the video, which you're going to want to go over to outro. And then you're going to go down to change effect. And then you're going to scroll over and pick whatever outro you want. I'm actually going to pick the grunge outro. So my intro and my outro will be the same. And then when you go down to add text, this will be basically whatever text will pop up at the end of your video. I'm going to enter this in real quick. All right. And basically that, if you are satisfied with the clips and the transitions, the intro, your outro, um, your video is done. However, if you wanted to do a voiceover, like uh, you talking over your video, you would go down here to add voiceover, and you'll click on that, and then this little box will pop up, and then you basically click start recording, and then it'll have a 3, 2, 1 countdown, and then you can start talking. The only thing with that is, it is only going to be for that particular clip. My suggestion to you is, is to make your entire video how exactly you want it, save that video, and then go into your upload studio and open that video and then do a voiceover over the entire video. That way, it wouldn't have to transition between clips, it would just be one long full clip that was already pre-edited. And like I said, if you are satisfied with the way your clip is and everything all together, you're going to go over to finish. And then this is where your upload kind of begins. Uh, you're gonna, it'll ask you for a title or tag, and uh, this is what you name your video. I'm just going to call it a tutorial because that's pretty much what it is. And then it'll ask you for a tag, and this kind of this helps people find your videos. So you can have you know epic fail, epic moment. Um, this is a walkthrough, so I'm going to save it as a walkthrough. Next, you're going to want to go over here and make sure that you check the OneDrive, upload to OneDrive box. That's a pretty important uh, step. Then you're going to go over to Next, and then this Upload uh, screen will pop up, and you click Upload. And at this point, it's going to render your clip, and it's going to upload it to your Upload Studio, and then it's also going to upload it to OneDrive. Once it's done uploading, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump on your computer and go to the OneDrive website and log in using your Microsoft ID, basically the same way you would log into your Xbox. Once you do that, you're going to want to find your clip, download it onto your PC. Once you download it onto your PC, then you can upload it to YouTube. And if you wanted to do some final touch-ups and final editing, you know, maybe throw on some music onto your clip as well, you can do that all on YouTube. So for the most part, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you guys like this video, please make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.